the name of the dance, we do down the Johannesburg way. Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines New York. This is episode 2 and in today's episode we're mostly going to focus on getting a population just started in the city uh, surrounding this uh, Queens Boulevard as well as uh, starting just some basic infrastructure work around the Queens and Brooklyn area so yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. So I guess I should just uh, quickly mention the elephant in the room, which is the sudden growth in my YouTube channel. Uh, after I posted uh, episode one of this uh, series, I shot up to over a thousand five hundred subscribers within the first week or so. Um, that is not at all what I was expecting, <laughs> but I'd just like to thank you all for visiting my channel, deciding to subscribe, and just showing the uh, amount of love and appreciation and excitement that you guys have towards this new series. So, hope I don't let, let you guys down, and I hope to continue to impress you and satisfy your City Skylines needs. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all the support, it was amazing, and it just really made my day uh, just seeing all all the new visitors. Uh, speaking of which, s since a lot of you are new to this channel, just a little bit about myself, uh, or at least how this channel tends to work. Uh, I have a job, so I don't really upload that often. I try to upload every like week or, or usually two weeks, but definitely once school starts around August, I will upload much less frequently, just because. Uh, college just takes up so much of my time but I'm definitely not gonna quit anytime soon so you, got, you guys have that to look forward to and uh, speaking speaking about quitting I'm also not quitting any of my previous series I remember seeing a few comments uh, in the last video about how I'm killing off my Mexico series or something like that but it's not it's just taking a little bit of a break because uh, Obviously, New York is what I'm focused on right now and what a lot of you have games to subscribe for. Uh, so yeah, definitely none of my old series are dead at all. I'm s still excited to work on them. Uh, Saguaro Valley, however, is probably going to take be the one that's uh, be ignored for a while just because I'm not as inspired to work on it as I am with uh, Mexico and uh, New York but it's not dead either I'm st I still have a guest build that uh, Sakura Nation actually did for me it's a amazing little build that he made for me that I asked him to make for me um, no spoilers but look forward to that I hope you guys enjoy that episode as well when I get around to actually making it but yeah, that's, that's a bit about me, about my channel, and uh, I guess going into the video, <laughs> actually speaking about what's happening on screen, uh, yeah, you just see me starting off this uh, Queens Boulevard build, uh, which quite honestly, I was only really inspired to do this because I was watching the Spider-Man Far From Home, or not Far From Home, Com Homecoming, the first one that Marvel made. I was watching that movie, and towards the beginning, there's this scene where Peter's just like, crouched up on the side of a building overlooking Queens Boulevard and you can see the Empire State Building in the distance and I was watching that and I was like you know what that's gonna be my first build <laughs> my first actual build uh, for the for the series so here you go uh, basically Queens Boulevard is just this large Avenue uh, in Queens uh, surrounded by a bunch of co uh, commercial buildings and obviously a neighborhood and with the um, with the viaduct for the uh, the subway trains, which by the way, um, 
I did post a few uh, pictures of this early on on uh, on Twitter. Uh, follow me there if you want to see like little sneak peeks and just general uh, channel stuff. <laughs> uh, just a little uh, shameless plug there, but I posted a couple screenshots of a subway train that I subscribed to, and a ton of people reached out to me saying that it was an old uh, vehicle asset and I should be using um, some newer ones. And here's like a specific one that actually runs along this uh, Queens Boulevard. Boulevard uh, viaduct and I greatly appreciate all all that uh, support and suggestions and I did change the uh, trains that were running on this line but let me know in the comments if that's actually something that you guys are uh, trying to see in the series um, in terms of like the accuracy of specific specific vehicles that run on specific sort of lines because I'm personally not too bothered by it, I don't really care about having like the specific train running on the specific track, but if that's something you guys want to see, I'd be more than happy to actually start uh, doing that kind of research and implementing that into the uh, into the builds, and I guess uh, just the train networks that run around the city. But yeah, right now I'm just working on the neighborhoods, plant planting down some trees. I will add planters uh, just right now in a second. Because uh, I did get a couple complaints when I posted that um, Man Manhattan Bridge screenshot a while ago. And uh, yeah, just trying to make you guys proud. <laughs> And now comes the sort of challenging part for me, at least. Uh, it's, it's challenging because I'm going to be focusing on the freeways at this point in a couple seconds, actually. But uh, yeah, uh, New York freeways are completely different from the freeways that I'm used to because um, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And my first uh, s series on this channel, Sawara Valley, is basically a mini rec recreation of Phoenix, Arizona. So I've been, I'm very accustomed to building those the types of freeways you find around here uh, in the west uh, versus the freeways in the east, which are surprisingly a bit different. They have like, I'm, I actually don't really know the correct terminology uh, for these, but they have, they tend to have like separate lanes on the side just to like minimize traffic congestion, I, I'm assuming. And uh, those separate lanes on each side of the actual freeway um, actually are the ones that connect to the surrounding neighborhoods and uh, commercial districts and whatnot versus having them connect straight to the middle lanes which uh, the most amount of traffic is running through and just little details like that just small little differences that exist um, is what I uh, struggle to recreate uh, in, in City Skylines because I've just never really built anything like that before in game. I've never really even built anything like New York City in game, so this whole series is just a bit of a challenge for me. Um, right now, I'm just I'm gonna start trying to build this sort of little uh, interchange or freeway exit, which is um, I probably went through like three different iterations of this, and yep, I just cut straight to it, my final one, which I'm actually quite proud of. I love the way this turned out with the little. Uh, I believe these are like harbor um, wall uh, networks that I just happen to be subscribed to. And they just work out perfectly here. And uh, something that I like to quickly mention here is you're going to see me place a lot of just avenues just scattered around the, around the map. And some very sketchy looking just road connections and freeway connections. Please don't be bothered by that. It's not at all going to be final. I'm just trying to build up the basic freeway network so that cars can actually drive around the city for now. Uh, so yeah, it's not at all final, so don't be worried about my crappy uh, road connections that you might be uh, seeing later on in the video. Such as now, I'm just building roads for the sake of having a layout planned out on the map for me to actually visually see. And uh, I will go back and actually work on these further in a couple of seconds into the video. I'll be building a, ver a bridge and like an actual freeway interchange 
which actually turned out pretty okay. I um, might uh, come back later on and rebuild sections of it just because of I didn't really plan well on how these connections, at least for the bridge, um, will actually be because I want the the intersections and uh, interchanges to actually look like they were built after the city because that's just the way New York actually happened unlike cities here in the west where they kind of grew uh, with freeways the freeways act here actually just grew onto the city and were built onto the city so I want I want to have that sort of um, visual indicator I guess to be an obvious feature of of New York and here's the bridge that I'm trying to build right now um, it's obviously not really uh, specific to any actual bridge that exists in New York it's just something that I was subscribed to and I thought it looked nice um, and I think it's a double decker bridge I'm probably supposed to be placing a road below it in that little metal cage but I didn't because I'm lazy and I just decided to uh, actually you'll see in a second here I just decided to double the size of the bridge and have it just be a a huge like freeway sort of thing instead of having the singular uh, network running through I'd like to quickly just uh, it's just sidetracking here I'd like to quickly mention uh, something so I, I did get a few comments in the last video asking for a, an, an asset collection a mods list all that good stuff and I am I'm just not at all interested in creating something like that I'm, I apologize but it's way too time-consuming and uh, quite honestly all I really did is I, I already found an asset collection for a bunch of New York assets and that's basically what I just subscribed to and just went into the save and just started building I obviously did subscribe to a bunch of other like buildings and assets and stuff like that but most of the stuff is just in that one asset collection that I uh, found that someone else made I not a not at all taking credit for for creating the that asset list so I will be linking that one down in the description but in terms of like all the other stuff that I subscribe to it's just way too time consuming for me and I just don't have the time to do that again I have a job I have a life I'm not and it's, yeah it's I, I just don't have the time to do that if you guys have, have ever made an asset collection you know how much of a pain it is to just individually add every single item into the list out of just the thousands that you might be subscribed to so I apologize but it's just not something that I'm that I'm trying to do um, but yeah here you can just see me uh, just going back to what I'm doing on screen I'm just slowly building out these freeways and uh, replacing them with the avenues that I just roughly laid out throughout the entire map and um, again, if you see a random avenue that looks like it should be a freeway, it 9 times out of 10 is going to be a freeway later on in the future. I just placed it down just as a little placeholder and just to have a basic connection for cars to drive through while I actually uh, get to work on an official like connection. Uh, I did get like a comment in the last video referring to the roads that I just placed on the on the sides of the Manhattan Island that are supposed to be like... I believe, I believe it's called like the East, um, I don't know, East something freeway, West freeway, West bank, I don't know. I don't know what they're called at, at, uh, just off the top of my head, but those freeways that just sort of, sort of like circle around Manhattan, I just used a road for now. Uh, I will be upgrading it later on in the future when I actually get to that area. Um, and by the way, if you guys have any like build suggestions for the different boroughs, I have quite a lot in mind for Manhattan just because it's like the more uh, well-known um, island of New York but I'm definitely gonna be building up Queens, uh, Bronx, Brooklyn and Staten Island obviously but if you guys have any like specific uh, builds that you want me to try and recreate by all means hit me up in the comments um, I'm already I, I plan on building the uh, park where I believe the uh, they held a war, uh, world fair back in the 1900s, uh, 1920s probably, I believe, I don't, I'm not sure. It was a huge architecture and just like city designed fair or something like that. And I couldn't really build it because that famous globe isn't something that's like on the workshop or anything. So I didn't really want to build it without having that asset. But anyways, I think we're approaching the end of today's episode, so... 
uh, just wrapping it up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I knew, I know it's a bit rambly. I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to get through a few things. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you guys in episode three of City Skylines, New York. Thank you.